Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, so this is going to be our new format. We're going to uh, talk towards the camera instead of doing documentary style like we used to. And the reason for that is that we're new parents and doing the documentary style is just a lot of extra work and we don't have that extra time. So this way we can get the videos up a little bit uh, quicker. Uh, so this week we're going to be heading down the St. Lawrence River to Tualidiaia and we're going to the marina that's on the island there. And on this island, you're not allowed dogs. And of course, since we have two new puppies, we want to bring them along with us. We want to get them used to the boating life. So we're going to bring our puppies and our baby with us uh, to this island. And we're a little worried about what's going to happen, if they're going to say anything to us, and if not. So uh, let's see what happens. Hey, Anthony, what you doing? Hey, how's it going, Anthony? What you doing? Yeah! You want to go on a boat ride? Yeah, we're going to go on a boat ride. And we're going to bring the dogs with us. And we're going to go on nice long walks. And we're going to visit the city. And we're going to have fun. figure out how much that is per gallon. Let's just say we're a long way from the buck ten per gallon that we had uh, back in Florida in the April 2020. Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, either you stay home or you put some fuel in it. So uh, after that, uh, now we're on our way and we're heading down to Tuolia and uh, hopefully we're gonna have some fun and a great weekend there. We're gonna meet up some uh, old friends that we haven't seen in a long time and uh, Let's get to it. To the marina probably around 2 30 and as we're coming into the marina there was a lot of wind and uh 
But what I didn't realize is that when we got to the spot where we were gonna park, uh, reverse in, there was no whirlwind. But I didn't think about it. I just gave a good hard hit on the gas, and uh, we kind of we kind of pivoted really quick, maybe a little too quick. <laughs> so yeah. So then uh, we went in. Uh, we paid. And uh, as you can see, we're walking around now, so we're gonna see if, if we can, uh, you know, get away with it. That it won't bother us too much with the dogs. Hopefully not, because uh, man, are they ever enjoying themselves? You know, forests, everything, and they're pulling so much. It would really like me to jog with them and uh, see what's uh, what all this new stuff is out there. See you later, folks. Do you have a nice walk? <laughs> oh, boobies! You like those boobies? Hey! <laughs> oh, you look tired. Your eyes are all small. Huh? Yeah? Is it time to go back to sleep? No? <laughs> Booby time? Yeah, booby time. <laughs> boobies or doggies? Which ones do you prefer? Boobies or doggies? Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's drooling on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's busy. And there's the doggies. Hey, Echo. Hey, Mika. Hey, what you guys doing? Yeah? So, today we're gonna head into town and we're gonna go to a few restaurants and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. But as I predicted, when we went off the island, a uh, guy at the gate said, hey, what are you doing with dogs here? You're not allowed dogs. Not allowed dogs on the island. I said, well, we're from the marina. He goes, marina? Do you have a boat there? I said, yeah, of course we have a boat. And he just didn't say anything. He said, well, it's okay. Then. And we kept on our way. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's many places that we're allowed to go in our province with dogs. It's a little sad, but it's we're used to it. We live with it. Well, let's see what happens in town. So, we were able to uh, stop at the uh, restaurant. What we did is we walked through town and we noticed one of the restaurants had a little water bowl for the dogs. And we figured, you know what? Let's try and stop there and see what happens. So at first, uh, she said uh, she wanted the dogs to be outside of the fence of the restaurant, but then it was in the sun. And finally, she let us go over to the other side, which was fully inside the restaurant. And we had the dogs at our foot at the table. And at least they weren't in the sun, they were in the shade and they had a great time. And at the end of the day, we found another restaurant where we were able to tie them just outside the fence and we were sitting next to the fence. So uh, they didn't bother us, everything was fine. So we had a pretty good day after all.
Oh man, what an awesome weekend. I mean, we had a great time. Uh, we walked those dogs. Uh, I think we did somewhere uh, close to about eight or nine miles and uh, we stayed out uh, 10 hours uh, for the day and uh, everything. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we, you know, we met our friends I hadn't seen in a long time and we kind of forgot to uh, take any footage of the downtown Trois-Rivières. But uh, if any of you folks are in the area, it's really worth the stop. It's a great place. It's a nice little city. as an old part of the town that's uh, always fun to visit. And uh, so uh, I hope you guys like the new format. It's a little bit easier for us to set up and uh, put everything together afterwards. And uh, have fun, guys. <laughs>